it's Melissa again with another kickboxing Tabata workout for you. We are going to focus on lower body today. You just need a mat, maybe a water bottle and a towel. Um, we are going to focus on strength and flexibility today, a little bit of mobility of the hips and balance as well. We've got kicks, hits, blocks, all with the lower body. We have a quick accelerated warm up today, so we're going to get going right away. We just want to focus on getting that heart rate up quickly so we can get into the work. Four big rounds of work, 10, uh, round, 10 sets each in each round. So let's do it. We're going to start it nice and easy with just simple squats. Sit back into the hips just to get those glutes moving. Nice proud chest. Abs brace throughout the work today. The only shoulder and upper body work we're going to be doing is having a guard up. If you want to have that authentic guard, it's mostly going to be fingers down, thumbs over your fingers, and knuckles face you. You might have some open palm guards today. Totally up to you. All right, let's start jogging on the spot. Drive the knees up. Start easy, but feel free to start accelerating because it's a short warm up today. In the first round, if you feel like you're not warm yet, take your time with the moves. Don't think speed. Think more quality of your movement. Start to drive the heels to the glutes to get those hamstrings warm. Now let's practice our front kick. So we're gonna drive the hips forward and lean away from the kick. You can stay low with your front kicks today or your knees or your blocks, whatever you're doing. Any type of kick we're doing, it doesn't have to be high. But if you wanna play with that range, you're gonna lift it a little higher. Few more here. A little side to side lunge. Sit into the hips. Just to wake those hips up, wake the hamstrings up and the quads and the glutes. Roll on up, grab a sip towel off. We're getting into our first round right away. We're starting with a front kick, back kick in three, two, one. Same leg. Front kick, other leg, back leg kick. So it's Right front leg, left back leg, or whichever leg you started with. Opposite legs, but we stay on the same side for this round. So we're leaning back on the front kick and leaning forward on the back kick. That's going to switch your abdominals on. And rest. There are 25 second rounds today. We've got to switch sides. Other front leg, other back leg. In three, two, one. Remember that option to play with the range. It doesn't have to be high. On that back kick, do me a favor. Look over that shoulder, square the hips. Drive it straight back. Start to add a little speed if you're feeling it. If you're feeling comfortable, you feel that you've got that balance and that control, you can add that speed. About five more seconds. Hold on to it. And take your rest. Shake it out. Okay, those legs are done. We have side kicks. You can either balance or tap between. Knee comes past the belly. Here we go. In and out. Pull, push, and pull. Arms up for guard if you want. You can tap between, but if you want, come with me. Try to hold your balance. Push and pull. We're going to work glutes, quads, hamstrings here. We're even working the glute and the quad of the standing leg. Remember, you can keep it low, and if you need to tap between, please do. Three more seconds. That's our side kick. We gotta switch legs. Set the other leg. Look towards your opponent. Five more seconds. Guard up. Load the leg if you want. In three, two, one. Push and pull. To start out, if you need to tap between, tap between. But as you feel more comfortable in the kick, you can hold it up. Push and pull. Push and pull. We're driving with the blade of the foot. That's the spot between the heel and the pinky toe. The downward kick. Five more seconds. Use those abs for balance. Two, three, two, one. Rest. Shake that out. Ooh, we started feeling the heat in the legs. So our next move is called a shoot. You'll see this in MMA fighting. You want to take down the opponent by lunging forward. Pick a leg. Here we go. We're reaching forward. Don't set the lunge. Check it out. You shoot forward. You put the weight in that front leg, in that quad, and in that glute. Fifteen more seconds. Get back and reset every time. Think about stepping between the feet of your opponent. Lunging at them. Three more seconds. How are we doing? Rest. Switch to the other leg. 
All right. Picture your opponent. Where are you going to step? Three, two, one. Here we go. Grab them. 20 more seconds. In. Get low. Stay low and loaded in the legs. Feel those glutes activate and the quads. Less than 10 seconds. In. Lunge at them. And rest. Shake those legs out. All right, we have our roundhouse. Again, just like a sidekick, we can balance with this one or tap between. Set the back heel, lift the knee, and extend the leg. Here we go. Roundhouse. So we want to soften the standing leg by bending the knee a little. And we want to lift the knee and then open and close the leg. So if you want to balance, try to keep the foot up. Try to bring the heel to your glute. Guard up for balance or take an arm out for balance. Aim it towards your opponent and rest. Same thing on the other side. Set the back heel towards your opponent. We want to lift the knee and then extend it. Get ready in three, two, one. So for safety purposes, when we're not stepping into the roundhouse like you might see on site, we're setting the back heel, opening and closing. We're working on glute strength in both legs. We're working on our balance and our flexibility. A little bit of core work comes in here too as you balance and hold that leg up. And last one, rest. Nice work. We have, whew, what do we got here? We got a block kick. Oh, one of my favorites. Okay, so we're gonna block and then we're gonna kick, all right? Here we go. We block one opponent, kick the other one. Block, kick, and as you get used to the move, you can start to speed it up a little. Your front kick can stay low. Try to get the knee though, to hit a pike. Arm if you want, blocks, and swings down on the kick. Five more seconds. One of my favorite hits right there. Last one, rest. So we're blocking and then kicking. We pull in as we drive the knee out, and then we lean back. Here we go, block, kick, block, kick. Protect that face. You can add that hop to it if you're feeling good about it. Otherwise, keep the hop out, but make sure your rotate is still rotating that heel. So you're staying light on the feet. Your heel is not planted. Five more seconds. Hold, rest, recover. Grab a sip if you need it. Round one is done. New moves come out. Still 10 more, 10 more moves to do in this next round. Different kicks this time, different knees. We've got a combination. The big ones for this one, let's see about in the middle, is a lunge, squat, lunge, kick. Now you can stay grounded when you do it, stay low without jumping. If you wanna make it a little more intense, a little harder. You're gonna lunge, squat, lunge, kick, add a little jump to it, but make sure you stay low. So that's one of the moves you're gonna see in this one. Um, we also have a, what do we start with? Oh, nice and easy squat kick. You're gonna st stick to the same leg. You put all the weight in one foot, squat, kick. Get it set up, let's go, squat, Okay, so now here's your option. Tap between. The range or height of your kick is up to you, but if you wanna make it harder, don't touch the ground. Squat, kick, squat, kick. That makes it really hard and really puts pressure on the legs. Drive the hips forward. Whew. And rest. You might be in a little less control if you're balancing, so feel free to tap down when you feel like you need to. Switch to the other side. In three, two, one, squat, kick. So here's that option, you can, you can tap, nice and controlled. When you feel you've got that control, try not to touch, squat, kick, squat, kick. You can always tap when you need to. Challenge yourself today, find what works for you. Three more seconds, and rest, shake it out. Who feels that pressure on the quads? All right, we have 
a roundhouse knee. So the roundhouse knee comes from behind, it wraps around the body. In five, four, three, two, here we go, same leg. Knee to hip height, it comes from behind, arms wrap around. You're gonna work the obliques here as well as the lower body. 10 more seconds. Pull, reach the arms high, crunch the abs. Knee comes to hip height to really get that ab work. And rest. Two legs, gotta switch sides. Arms up. In three, two, one. Here we go. Wrap it around. Pull. Start to play with that speed if you want. Remember, it comes from behind. It's not a straight knee. If you need the option, don't jump. You can still get the same effect. About five seconds. Three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, we have that combination. So we're gonna put one squat, lunge, kick. Are you ready? Feet on train tracks. In three, two, here we go. You can take the jump out if you want. Step, step, step. So make sure you're staying low and loaded in the legs. If you want the jump, get down, push off the floor. Swing the leg through on the kick. Swing the arm down. Five more seconds. Those legs are hurting. Rest, shake, same thing, switch sides. Again, lunge, squat, lunge, kick, or jump with it. In three, two, here we go. How's the legs? What are your arms doing? Are they helping with balance as you swing your kick through? Are you leaning away on the front kick? Let me show you from the side. Bring it through. Five seconds, keep going. Can you get one more out? Rest, shake. Big calorie move here, quickly. Either power knee, or a jump knee. I'm starting with the power knee. Push off the floor. Push it straight up. A little different than the roundhouse knee. This one goes straight up if you want the jump. The tuck jump, and you rotate towards the knee you're working with. Power knee or jump knee. Jump knee. Land soft if you're jumping. And rest. That one's gonna get the heart rate up. Catch your breath. Again, you can do a power knee or a jump knee. Here we go. Let's do it. Power knee or jump knee. It's always gonna be better on one side or the other if you're jumping. Do a few power knees and maybe one jump knee. Land soft. Five more seconds. Three, two. Nice job, rest. Catch your breath. All right. We're gonna get down in a squat. Karate punches. This is the only time we're punching today. Get low. Here we go. So on the karate punch, you wanna stay really low in the legs. Like low, get down, get down. And then, impact. Right at that point of impact, it's when you tense up. It's light and then heavy. So you're relaxing until you meet the board or whatever you're punching. And rest. Shake those legs out. Jenga, this one's a little easier. Think three points on the ground. Step, a little lunge. Step, a little lunge. It's almost a recovery move. Get low on the legs. Sweep across the floor. This you'll see in capoeira style fighting. Capoeira is part dance, part game, part fight. You protect the face with the arms. Get low in that lunge in the back. It's not your traditional lunge. We're tapping back and loading the front leg. Recover, shake. We have to repeat each of those rounds. No surprises, you've seen it all. Choose your options when you need them. 40 more seconds to rest, 45 more seconds. How are you feeling? How's that heart rate? Breathe, 
let it come down a little before we jump back into the moot. So again, we've got that front kick, back kick to start. On the side kicks. People sometimes have a little trouble with one side or the other. The main thing is, think about loading the leg by bringing the knee past the belly. And then once you have that loaded, you send the kick out. You're kicking with the side of your foot between the heel and the pinky toe. It can, it's a downward kick. It's not straight out. So in and out. You don't have to get it high. You want to get the glute work and the ab work in. All right, let's start with that front kick, back kick. You pick the side you start on. We're leaning away and leaning forward. Lean back, lean forward. Lean back, lean forward. If you need to keep the kicks low, if your legs are on fire, go for it. Five more seconds. And the rest. Switch to the other side. Front kick, back kick. Let's even it out. Don't forget to lean away and lean forward. Use those abs to your advantage. Here we go. Front kick, back kick. Add a little speed now that we're getting used to it. Again, one side might be easier than the other. My right front kick is way better than my left front kick. And my right back kick is better than my left. 10 more seconds. Control. If you feel like you're out of control, I challenge you to keep your kicks low. You don't have to kick them high to get the results. And rest, shake. Okay, we're going into that side kick. So like we talked about, set that heel, load the leg by pulling that knee in. It's in and out, in three, two, here we go. You can either tap between, or if you wanna make it a little harder, push and pull, use that balance. It's like a stabbing motion with your leg. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. If you need an arm out for balance, use it. Rest. Switch to the other side. Set the heel. Soft bend in the knee. Guard up. Here we go. If you need to tap between to start, tap between. And as you get comfortable with it, that's when you can bring the balance about. Look towards your opponent or a spot on the floor to help. One side might feel different. 10 more seconds. Are you pulling the knee across the belly? Push and pull, push and pull. About three seconds. And rest. Shake. I'm bringing that shoot back. Picture your opponent. Two spots on the floor, you wanna step between it. All right, here we go, lunge forward, shoot. Remember, it's a lunge. You're lunging at your opponent, grabbing them from me, grabbing them around their waist or their legs to take them down. Lift that back foot off the floor to load that front leg. Less than 10 seconds. Reach, reach. Three more seconds. And rest, shake. Switch sides. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Grab them, take them down. Load that front leg. Get down into it. 15 seconds. Are you picturing those two points on the floor? Step between them. Your shoulder goes into them. You knock them down. Five seconds. And rest. Shake the legs. We're bringing that roundhouse back. Your choice to balance or tap between. Set the back heel. Arm out. Here we go. Lift. Lift knee before you extend leg. Try to make that kick long. It doesn't have to be high, but try to make it long. Full extension. Show you from the side. Reset the heel. Make it long. Make it long. Lift and extend. And rest. Switch it up. Set the back heel. I'm going to show you from the side on this one. Arm out if you need it. Other hand for other arm protecting your side. Here we go. Lift and then lower. Do you want the balance? Extend and balance. Make sure you're fully extending. Woo. 10 more seconds. Try 
Gotta bring the heel to the glute every time. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Two more moves. We've got our block, kick. All right, so we block one opponent and kick the other. Here we go. Block, kick, block, kick. Drive the hip, drive the foot, drive the hip, drive the ball of your foot. Hips go forward, we lean back on that front kick. The abs will turn on. Five more seconds. And rest, shake it out. How's that glue? Ooh. All right, other side. Block, kick, go. Block, kick, block, kick. Ten more seconds. Drive it. You don't have to jump, but you have to lift the heel to pivot. Three seconds. Get one more. Take a recovery. Oh my. Bring the heart rate down. Last big round of work. And then we have some core and then we're done. We have about nine minutes of work left. Till the finish. All right. We're starting with that squat kick. Starting on one leg. Play with your balance if you want. Or really think about that squat range. Get low, drive the kick. Get low, drive the kick. If you're playing with range, balance might not be what you want to work on today. You might want to get lower. 15 more seconds to grab a sip, towel off. Check that heart rate. We're gonna do it again. All right, load up. Pick your leg. In three, two, one. Here we go, we get down, we kick. We get down, kick. Get low. Strong out brace, lift out of the chest. Try not to round down with your back here. We wanna stay upright. We're focusing on the lower body, but we still need to maintain a strong upper body. Five more seconds. And rest. Shake. Switch sides. I'll show you the balance on this side if you want it. All right, get ready. In three, two, we squat, we kick. So if you're tapping, get low. If you're balancing, work on that balance instead of the depth. 15 more seconds. Play around with it. Maybe you do a few with balance and a few with more range. Five more seconds. And rest. Shake. All right, we have a roundhouse knee. Remember, the knee comes from behind. Arms are up. We bring it around. Knee to hip height. In three, two, here we go. Pull it up. How high is your knee going? How high are your arms going? Arms are high, they meet the knee at the hip. Less than 10 seconds. Keep going, add some speed. In three, two, rest. Shake. I like to be toast by the end of this. All right, other side. Set that other leg. Here we go, pull it up. Less than 20 seconds. Drive it up. You don't have to jump here, but you still need to bring it around. 10 more seconds. Pull, crunch the abs. In three, two, one, shake. Our big combo. Last time we do it, lunge, squat, lunge, kick. Are you ready? In three, two, get down, lunge, squat, lunge. Kick if you're not jumping, stay low. You can step, 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 kick, or push off the floor, get down, reach. Can you get lower? A little lower. Work the glutes, quads, abs. Can you get one more? 
and rest. Nice job. Switch sides. Your best form right here. It's the last time you're gonna do it. And three, two, one. Lunge, squat, lunge, kick, lunge. Get down. Step it out or push off the floor. Build some height. Can you get lower? Get down. Lower. Even lower. Five seconds. Get one or two more out. Come on. Can you get one more? And rest. Awesome work. All right. The big one. Our jump knee or power knee. Remember, power knee pushes off the floor. Jump knee. Comes up. Here we go. Maybe a couple power into a jump knee. Power. If you're jumping, I want you to land super soft. Try not to hear your feet. Five more seconds. Three more seconds. One more jump knee. Rest. Catch that breath. Other side. If you're not jumping, stay low. Drive up. Drive up. They're not fast. Here we go. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. 10 more seconds. Maybe you just want to do a bunch of jump knees. Three seconds. One more. Catch that breath. Two more moves and we're done with this. Wide squat, karate punch. Get down. Keep going. Here we go. If you're starting to shift up, I want you to get even deeper in your legs. Proud chest, strong ab brace, tension at the point of impact. If you're starting to drift off, get down, get down. Five more seconds, get lower, lower. Relax, rest. One more move. Arjanga, have fun with it, finish it off. Two points on the front, one in the back. Stepping side to side, tapping between into a mini lunge. Here we go. Jingle back. Get lower. Dance to it. Protect the face. Guard up. Ten more seconds. This is the one time I'll tell you you can round the back a little. You still need to brace the abs. And recover. Short recovery. We're going right to abs. Breathe. We got two more minutes and we're done. All right, you're not gonna like me. We're sticking straight hovers. Hover work to finish. Come down to the floor. All right, I'm gonna grab my mat so you can see my legs. Come into a hover position, elbows in line with your shoulders. Knees or toes, if you're on your knees. Knees just outside hips, just hold the hover for now. If you're on your toes, I don't want to see your hips in the air. Bring your weight forward. Hold that hover. Pull the belly button to the spine and lengthen your spine. Think about your body. Like a nice strong steel rod through the spine, through the legs. Solid. Now we're going to hold this hover a few more seconds. Keep holding. I'm going to face front. We have. Knees or toes, we're gonna arm salute. So, bring one arm up to the uh, forehead and bring it down. Bring it up, bring it down. The goal here is to try not to rotate the body. You can do this on the knees or the toes. A few more seconds, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, hold the hover, stay still. Now, if you're on the knees, you're gonna lift and tap. Lift and tap, but if you're on your toes with me, let's start marching out and in. Tap, mat, tapping out and in. Tapping out and in. Just moving the lower body. A few more seconds. All right, everybody hold knees or toes. Pull the knee to the elbow, oh, alternating. Knee to elbow. Pull it in. Don't hate me, we're almost there. 
hold, hold the hover, hold it. Five more seconds. Three, two, down. Nice work. Quick recovery. Hold that child's pose. Pull back. All right, we work to the lower body. Let's stretch the lower body. Knees at 90 degrees. Drop your front knee and just lean down into the stretch. We want to pull that shirt forward like there's a string on it. Let's breathe. Stretching the hip flexor. We did a lot of jumping and moving of that leg today up and bringing it up and down. Let's tension on that hip. Stack the thighs, heel to your glute. We'll stay on the floor for the stretch and cool down. Swing the legs around, knees at 90, chest pulls forward. Sink into the hips. Just a few breaths here. Try to let each breath melt any tension away. All right, stack the thighs, heel to glute. Stretching that quad. All we gotta do is stretch those hamstrings. Lay on your back. Pull that knee towards your chest. Breathe. Switch to the other side. Let it melt. And hug the knees into the chest. Roll yourself up to sitting. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you need a little more stretching, please go for it. I hope you had fun today. I hope you had a good workout. And we'll see you next time.